So, hello everybody, welcome here on the shooting range of MEC in Dortmund. Today I want to demonstrate you how to test and to select air rifle pellets. Uh, before we go into the details, let me just show you the setup of our test range. So, it starts with a massive piece of wood, which uh, carries the wise which carries the mechanism that holds our rifle and allows us to move it in all directions. Then here we have a speed meter which will show us during we test the uh, actual speed of the rifle and the changes from shot to shot. Uh, we have a scud system here on the rifle uh, with a monitor here, which improves the accuracy in which the way is directed to the target. Here we have the monitor of the Miton system, which will show us every shot in result and the dispersion of the picture. And here, most important, we have uh, a lot of different ammunitions. Uh, every brand in the world is represented here uh, and of every brand we have different sizes and of every brand and size we have five or six different lots so you can be sure that you have a bright selection of ammunition. I think nowhere in the world you find such a variety of air rifle pellets. That's the setup, I hope you understand the story. So, testing itself is a stupid procedure. I just want to load one shot after the other. Do it carefully. I control the scut position. Oops. And try to get rid of the shot as clean as possible. So up there you can see the result of the shot. And you can see the result of the group. So, this is the first test today, just any ammunition. The rifle has to warm up a little bit, but nevertheless you can see it doesn't seem so bad in the moment, but never say anything before the last shot. Oh, I'm lucky. So here we have the result of the first 10 shots. It's 5.58. Uh, uh, so after we finished our test, we get the result here. We get the name and the rifle of the shooter. We get the brand of ammunition. We get the series of ammunition and the most important thing, we get the dispersion of the 10 shots we just did. When we are finished, we can make a printout. So this is a Mac printer. Now we get the outprint of the picture we just did. See it fresh from the machine. And here we can read the details, who, which rifle, the barrel, the date, 
the kind of ammunition, even the temperature is given. And here, once again, most important, 5.58. the interpretation of a test result. After shooting 10 or 100 shots on the Ballman test system of Myton, we get a picture like this. It normally starts with the name of the shooter. The next thing we get is the kind of rifle. Here we see how many rounds we tested. Here we see the ammunition, the brand, the size and the number of this test round. Then we see how many shots we fired. If we look now to this exact picture, uh, we get the following results. The most important is this one. This shows us the diameter of the whole picture. In this case we have a 5.26, which is definitely a very good ammunition. We test about 2,000 rifles a year at MEC and I think that maybe 1% of all the tests reach 5.26 or lower. So this is a really expert's rifle and a lucky finding. Um, other results we find here on the outprint is the speed. This means every shot is measured with a speed meter. So here the last shot had a speed of 181.8 meters per second, which is very high. But we see uh, the uh, minimum velocity of this 10 shots was a 179.9. The quickest shot of the 10 was 181.8. Average um, is something like 181.0. And we see the difference in the 10 shots is something like 2 meters per second, which uh, again is a quite good result. So this for the interpretation of our concrete picture. The 10 ring of an air rifle target has a diameter of 5.5 millimeters. If we fire a group of 10 shot, which will be inside this circle, we have a good ammunition. Uh, it is about 1 millimeter dispersion and it is an ammunition you will find in uh, 20 of 100 tests. If the ammunition has a bigger dispersion, like in our next example, 6.4 millimeters, you have just one millimeter more, but this means you lose about 25 decimals every 10 shot in competition. So 25 decimals is what you lose. Performance and handicap in an overview. So in the picture now, six um, pics that show you the result of different ammunition. 
In the first pick, we see uh, 10 shot, which go into one hole, and at the end, they have a diameter of 4.5. This does not happen in reality. This is a fantasy, but it would bring 109.0 uh, rings to the shooter. The second picture, a 5 millimeter dispersion. This is one of the best we ever had on the max shooting range, one of 1000. It would make a 108.7 result in training or competition and it would give you a handicap of three decimals in every 10 shot you do. The third picture is uh, more realistic. I think that uh, about 5% our testings get to 5.5 uh, or less. 5.5 makes approximately 108.0 points and gives you a handicap of 10 decimals. 6 millimeter dispersion picture number 4 gives you a 107.5 or 15 decimals handicap in every 10 shot. 6 millimeter is what we normally reach in a test on our test range if the rifle is in a uh, good condition and we have a little bit of luck. So next picture, 6.5 millimeters gives you uh, 107.0 on the target or 20 decimals handicap. This is a uh, not so strong picture. And the last one, uh, 7 millimeters, 106.0 uh, or 30 decimals handicap in every 10 shot. Just to make it clear, with an ammunition like this, losing uh, 30 decimals, you will have no real chance in any competition.